about the freeze on the working age benefits, yeah. And it came out, like, they dropped it, like, 20 minutes after the news came out about Prince Harry being engaged. So it's kind of trying to keep it quiet. Yeah, so it's kind of like more people will be concentrating on the whole fact about Prince Harry and uh, Meghan Markle being getting married and the whole controversy within that whole situation. Um, not that I'm going to go into it because I, I think it's stupid, to be honest. Um, <laughs> um, uh, especially in this day and age. It's ridiculous, <laughs> it's ridiculous so I'm not going to go into it. Cause, um, but yeah. Um, but they dropped it as kind of like a smoke screen. Yeah. Like, but yeah, let me drop into the real shit. Yeah, it says uh, the government has confirmed that it will be freezing benefits until twenty twenty, costing a typical working family around three hundred pounds per year. What? Yeah, Caroline uh, Dynich, Dynich, Dynich. Sorry. If I said your name wrong, uh, she is a conservative work and pension minister. Mm-hmm. Uh, she said that the freeze for working age people who receive benefits will go on even as a, the state pension and some other benefits increase by 3% in line with inflation. So basically, in real terms, this will be a cut in income of about £315 a year for a typical working family with two, with two children as uh, the cost of living will be eating further into their uh, disposable income. Uh, that, that is a st- statistic according to uh, a report made by the Re- Resolution Foundation. Uh, the freeze which has been in place since 2015 coincides with the longest fall in living standards in the past 60 years. Jesus, man. And it's, and it basically, there's, uh, the think tanks say that, uh, are saying that there's a real disposable in, uh, they're saying that real disposable incomes are now gonna, are now set to fall for 90 successive quarters. 90 successive, I guess, 19 quarters, I guess. Uh, It says uh, also that... It says the foundation, but I assume that's the Resolution Foundation. It says that they uh, they warn that the freeze would worsen inequality, which would take an average... um, Which would take an uh, in average of £715 away from the poorest third... Um, households, whereas the richest third look are set to gain about one hundred and eighty-five pounds from other tax breaks. Okay. Uh, so it also says like, like some people might not feel like the the cuts so much because uh, minimum wages are set to go up to seven pound eighty-three yeah. uh, next year in April. Uh, and but then there's other people that might still feel the squeeze because the treasurer still hopes to save 1.9 billion pounds next year. So how how the treasurer believes that they're gonna make all these cuts to save that amount of money? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> when I read this, I was like, what? <laughs> and it also says that, like, uh, Debbie Abrams, who is the shadow work and pension secretary, uh, she said that Theresa May has failed to make on good on her promise to help those who are struggling get by at a time when Britain is facing a uh, very uh, unprecedented, what is that? Unprecedented uh, to loss. Mm-hmm. We're facing an unprecedented, like, we're in an unprecedented time. Uh, okay, I guess what you mean. Basically, like it's in a time like, like Theresa May failed to promise to help like people who are struggling in a time when, basically. P- 
people need it most. Yeah. 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 And basically, by continuing to freeze the working age benefits when inflation is soaring, the government is subjecting 10.5 million households to an average wow. cut of £450 a year. So. So, when are we moving abroad into this? Uh, <laughs> you know, no one's there, like. Podcast from uh, somewhere else? <laughs> like, I mean. I don't even know what to say, to be honest. First and foremost, like, that's crazy. So, the government hoped to save £1.9 billion over the course of 2018. In one year. In one year. Uh, and for them to do that, they're going to have to basically cut from the things that are helping people the most. Yeah. Things that are helping people who actually need help. Yeah. And I guess, like with anything, when things affect people, the poor get poorer and the rich get richer. Yeah. But or the poor feel yeah, the difference. exactly that. That they're losing. The rich are often rich enough to not feel, feel it, it so yeah. much. Or, yeah, your Marks and Spencer's sandwich might have to go down to an Asda sandwich or, or a Sainsbury sandwich. For the rich. Yeah. You know, your meal deal won't be a Marks and Spencer's Waitrose this week. Whereas for someone who ain't got that money, you know, that means phew, there's just a little bit of less food on the table yeah. that every night this month. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but from the sounds hard, of things, man. it sounds like inflation. So things are going up. Like, things are already going up anyway, but like, it's going to get that it's bad get to, to the point where people are going to have less of a disposable income. People are going to be spending less. Yeah, that's what I mean. On, uh, on, on going uh, and doing things. Uh, More money, everything's going to go on bills. Yeah. <clears throat> You're going to have less money to spend on yourself, is what they're saying. You're going to be spending more time working than uh, having a good time. Yeah. You're going to need to make... You're going to have work to work more, more to have a to good time. to make the same money and have the good time you would have had normally this year. Yeah. For next year. That's what they're saying. That's bullshit. That's crazy. And, there, and so far, so since... The freeze has been in place since 2015. And since that, it's just been continually getting worse. But... And they're gonna continue this freeze until twenty for another three years, I guess, till twenty twenty. But still, if it's especially when, as a country or as a nation, like we're in such a, a uncertain time, like we've just had a time where we've separated from Europe, um, our economies all over the place. We don't know. There's not much that we do know. Like, more information's coming out about Brexit. Like, every single day after Brexit, it's already gone through. Like... It's just getting worse, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, man. It's, yeah, man. <laughs> that shit crazy. Like, I don't even want to, like, make light on it by just making that comment. I was just... It's saying it, but it's, it's mad. It's like is. you're playing a game yeah. that just is out there to make you... Like, you're reaching the next level, it's just getting harder yeah. and harder and harder to keep going. It's like, imagine, like, Monopoly, yeah, where the first time you pass go, you get that £200, yeah, but yeah. every time after that, you don't get £200 until, like, your 10th time round the board. Then that's when you get your next 200, you're like, hey. And then you go back around the board, reach go, and you're just like, ah, I can't wait till 20. <laughs> 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 then I get that 200 again. <laughs> that's all mad. Wow, like, yeah, I would love to hear anyone else's opinions on this, though. Because uh, that would be crazy. That would be dope, man. Like, tweet us. 
Facebook, um, or email. At my opinion means all the all the social medias and uh, at my opinion means on the email. Uh, sorry, at my opinion means at gmail dot com on the email. <laughs> so yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, that's all I've got for the news so far, man. I just, I really wanted to use, uh, mention that one because I, I read that and I was like, what? Gotta... You have to keep up on the news, guys. Yeah. You need to know what's going on because, like... It's affecting everyone, so... Yeah, these things, like, like, I know I say in my opinion means nothing, but, like, these are things, like, where, like, I need, we need to hear other people's opinions for, like, Things to not, I don't know, totally go the same way, if that makes sense. Mm. Like, although, like, maybe there's little that we can do, there's not nothing that we can do. There's always something that you can do, so. I just want to hear, like, other people's, like, what, you, this, what you guys saying, man? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah, man, uh, ready for ra- random facts, man. Random facts. Yeah. Okay. So, are you gonna? You you've got. I'm guessing a load of facts that you're gonna. I got three random facts. Yes. Three random facts. I got I got one or two. So, good bad. Right. Let's get you sound effects for. Office icebreakers or random facts, or. Uh, I say, uh, what you're gonna use in college, what you're gonna use in school. What are you going to use uh, at the office, in the break room, to make yourself look cool? Yeah, it's an office icebreaker. Yeah, it's an office icebreaker. Yeah, office icebreaker. Wicked, 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 office icebreaker. Yeah. That was the short and down <laughs> the one you did to me earlier. So yeah, I liked it, I liked it. <laughs> Freestyle. So what's uh, first? I mean, I, I can I can say. Oh, what can I, 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 I mean, I saw something that was really interesting today. Hey man, mention you can go kick it off, man. Start it off, man. So I, I was I was just flicking through the internet as you do, um, and you said a lot of you know you've got some fans uh, the show in various different countries. In yeah, the world. in the front, yeah, yeah. Um, Looking at analytics, and uh, yeah, one of the things that popped up about Poland. Oh, okay, cool. quite interesting, was that um, the symbol of Poland is a white eagle. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking of it, yeah. And um, it's, it's said here that throughout the country's history, the eagle has sometimes been depicted wearing a crown, or not wearing a crown, depending on the governments that occupied the nations of Poland at the time. Oh, that's pretty interesting. And I was like, yeah, I thought it was well interesting. <laughs> I was like, okay, so this isn't just like a symbol. This is a symbol that's changed... But Depend- only yeah, depending on who's been ruled, but only a tiny yeah. bit, only the crown. So I dug a bit more because I was actually quite. It's small, but kind of significant. Yeah, um, and it says here that it's during the communist era, the Polish eagle lost its crown to kind of symbolise Poland's um, subservience to the Soviet regime. Oh. So, yeah, it was their way of saying, yeah, we're, we, you know, you don't need. A royal family, like that's, uh, we're, we're connected to the royal. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's really like it's yeah, dope. I thought man. that was really interesting. It's really interesting to find out about. No one, like unless I knew about Polish history, I wouldn't have. Uh... Oh, you know, hey man, check Phil with his uh, Polish history. Yeah, I'm gonna look into some more now. It's quite interesting. Actually. Hey man, you look that in because obviously the American symbol is. Eagle as well, oh. so yeah. and then the Romans used the eagle yeah. as well. So it's quite like that's where you could like find out like, the origin the, stories yeah, of these. Of the eagle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll throw that in another another time. Another like, time, yeah. One of the weeks I'm on it. Yeah. So since we start with a fact from Poland, I will uh, move on to this uh, f- uh, random fact from uh, Sweden. So here is. There is a hotel in Sweden which is built entirely out of ice. Wow. And it's rebuilt every year. 